begin in the sense uh, uh, I suppose uh, Savinita was not there when we were starting the game so I mean maybe if one of you can uh, kind of replay the game uh, rules you can start playing so what I'm thinking is after after some time playing this then we will switch to um, something about programming which I think is really like the secret to start programming so yeah Hello, I don't think anyone is talking now. Can you hear me? Are we trying to play the game now? Yeah, uh, if someone can just tell the rules, so then it'll be easier. We can share what we did last time. So, uh, I think the game was where Judah uh, Judah was trying to, no, no, sorry, Ravi was trying to draw uh, whatever uh, needs to be drawn while all of us had to kind of write down uh, code in shared notes that Ravi can see and actually do the thing. So uh, Akshay had actually told us to uh, make Ravi write something like if we need to give a title and then what would be the body of the text that kind of thing is it is should the title be in capitals bold color of the text all of that all of that command we should give in writing in the shared notes um, uh, but we didn't do writing we did a logo judah gave a lg logo and uh, ravi kind of drew that i think the, today uh, akshay had mentioned that it will be complicated further in the game Okay, thanks for explaining. I just, think, uh, I'll just observe for a bit. Then I guess it'll be easier for me to understand. Further. Just to uh, expand on that, it was basically like uh, my understanding of it was uh, we have to give very clear cut instructions of what we want presented on the screen so that Ravi could uh, draw that. So, 
um akshay said you know i i want something to be blue i want something to be big i want something to be in the center so how are you going to represent that as instructions very clear cut instructions for ravi to write so basically what i think was uh, the learning point of that was uh, when we speak english or when we speak languages to each other we can give a very vague uh, idea you know like see just uh, go and get the water it's somewhere in that direction and we can point but if we are giving instructions to a computer we'll have to be very specific about how we are doing it we have to be like you know take the laptop put it on the side get up walk 2 meters straight take a glass on the left bend down open the water close it like that we have to be very specific about everything we're doing because computers are not the they can't take incomplete information and make sense of it so keeping that in mind i was uh, i i told i i i just like you know was just voicing my thoughts out when trying to instruct ravi about uh, how to make that you know just to write lg in the center it required a lot of instructions i was like okay uh, i'm going to club different things together i'm going to say okay fine i want to print lg now after, while printing lg i want it to be in the center of the screen okay now i want it i want the left i want l to be blue and g to be uh, green uh so uh, just like that uh, you know ha- having small bits of change made the instructions more complicated so that was the uh, basic idea of what i feel um akshay want us to learn last time uh, savita does that make any sense yeah yeah it makes sense so just clarifying the instructions were given in english language right not any coding language uh so, i i i i kind of made it up let me just see if i can uh, recreate what i did on the chat so for example i was like um i used basically some kind of i used a notation of a function that akshay was explaining to us late before so print say print lg okay would be the basic thing and i would say uh, a place you know center and then uh, print lg so basically what i was doing was just putting functions in functions so okay fine place center uh, i want it i want the size to be big so um size big place center print lg so like i was just taking that lg and making it and then akshay said okay what if you want the left to be uh, you know uh, green and the uh, i mean one letter to be one letter one color and the other letter to be other color so then i just copied and pasted it twice and i said blue l you know size big place center but then the complexity was uh, Uh, it has to be placed little on the left little on the right so it were it finally what the final instruction it turned out to be something like um color blue size big place center left print lg l and then i copied the whole thing and i uh, and i was like color green size big place center right so just let me know if this makes any sense so this was the final thing that i you know i thought that it was a good mix of english and uh, you know coding language that like we is is just something that uh was made like on the spot kind of does this make any sense like i was just trying to be, give clear instructions but also trying to incorporate uh, coding uh, sensibility yeah yeah i think it makes sense. i'm sorry print g print yeah i got the, in yeah. the second one right it's print g okay yeah yeah sorry print g yeah yeah, yeah thanks for explaining Samita can you try rendering this yeah
Hmm. Is this what you are looking for? Placement was in the center. Oh, but it's written there oh, center, right? Okay. So both were in the okay. Got it. Just L should have been in the left and that in the right. No? Right. Hmm. So this is fine now, no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just so that uh, it's clear, you can take this game on from here in the sense, uh, whatever complexity you want to add, uh, you can think about and add. And the other thing I would want you to think about is uh, whether the schema or uh, standard or protocol or instruction uh, syntax that you've come up with is uh, good enough for you or like would you need more uh, functions or whatever you call this for implementing more complex uh, or larger screens uh, you can think about refactoring it or coming up with modified versions of it or anything like that so Basically, we have around 30 minutes for creative thinking. I, I, I think I would want to add some things on uh, format, general format, maybe. Like, can we think of uh, broader things like, is it text, is it image, uh, and some some syntax for that. And then within text, uh, what is the text we can have? Uh, like if it's text, text equal to, and whatever text is there, we can write within inverted commas. Um, and then having something like format of that below it. Uh, I don't know what symbol to use, but format equal to uh, like size, uh, font, yeah, and then color, all of that, um, and whatever uh, is it is or bold and everything, um, and is it heading? Is it uh, normal text heading one, heading two, heading three, like in Google Docs, basically, and um, and for image, similarly, another set of instructions we have to figure out. Judah, what did you mean by hyperlink? Uh, so, like, if you open Wikipedia, you will see some of the text in, uh, like, blue and underlined. So, that takes you to a different place. So, maybe some sort of interactivity. Okay, so, you see, do you remember that your output is restricted by and enabled by the tools that you have on the right? Ah, okay, okay. Uh, so basically, I'm saying, um, mm, fine, okay, no hyperlink, basically. But what I was saying is, like, if you were to print out something and we were to interact with it in a, basically, we can't interact with it. I don't think we can interact with it uh, by clicking on the text per se. Like, I can't click on someone's text, and I don't think that can take me to some other place. But uh, what I meant was by hyperlink is. Uh, that Wikipedia thing. Basically, we can click on the text and it will take us to some other place. Okay, so, but. Yeah, I don't think we based can. Based on the tools that, that we have. But, yeah. Yeah. We have uh, text, we have all the other shapes and drawing, basically. So we can still stick to text and.
option maybe you could give us um, some really basic things on on syntax so that even when we are doing it may help us to in this in the sense like is equal to brackets colon or uh, hyphen all of this how does it work and what can we stick to or is there something like we have to stick to something or it changes with language uh, so basically all we need is uh, a way to write in chat imagine someone was on their phone and they're not able to draw on the chat i mean draw on the screen and uh, you want to type in chat and someone else draw that for that person how do you communicate um, is is all that the game is asking you to do so specifically it means uh, you don't have to be worried about programming or syntax or semicolons what you have to be worried about is okay there are these 20 options um, maybe not 20 there there is text there is pencil there is square tri tri triangle circle line and uh, there is font size font color uh, regular color and yeah undo and clear are not not necessary so how would you uh, represent all of that and what convention would you create such that you can communicate uh you know another way of going about it would be to just like see what is the functionality of the uh like you know just click all the buttons that we have available to us and uh, find a way of you know encrypting or you know find a way of uh, uh representing that in whatever code we come up with so for example in the the there are one okay okay No, go ahead, Judah. I'm just typing what is coming to my mind. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. So what I was saying was, uh, um, with regards to interactivity, we have one, two, three, four, five, six broad tools available to us on the whiteboard. Uh, one is so one, six, eight. So one is the broad category of tools. Then we have drawing thickness, colors, undo annotation, clear, and uh, turn palm rejection on. So I don't know what that means, but uh, I think we can limit ourselves to the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, five main points. So tools in tools we have text, we have line, we have L, we have. Uh, you know, circles, triangles, rectangles, and uh, pencil. So, um, right, and we can put uh, image also. We can put image also there. And drawing thickness would be specifically for the pencil. Then color is there. And uh, undo and thing. So, with regards to text what are the text characters we can use i think that's why we can bring into you know ascii uh, that each text can be represented by a number if if we want to we can be like a uh, print out the the or it can just be or we can just type it yeah um yeah if it didn't hmm. quotes if we put that Actually, text it has to be printed right Mm. Content. Okay, cool. So, yeah. 
Oh yeah, I like Swati's idea better. It's just simpler. It's text, image, or shape, or draw. Yeah. And then we can have a format of the content in terms of size and uh, color. It might help to create a sample output and then to try and represent that. Oh, cool. Okay, Swati, why don't you give some uh, instructions and uh, like we'll all give a shot at trying to represent that. I think sample output we have to give like like you, you started with we need the logo of LG right and then so I'll I'll write something here and then we'll try to represent that. Now we have to write this in instructions.
Swati, did you intend to make all of those lines irregular or was it just a while no, drawing it? No. Yeah, while drawing it. We pretty much covered most of the instructions that can be given, right? I guess placing of the image is something like Yuda, you mentioned center, but it's not exactly centered. So I was thinking this margin space could be something that will help to be more precise, but I don't know what else could be a way to do that. Yeah. Uh, also, all of this, right? It can. Do you think it can be written in like a script or something where only this one, uh, where this whole uh, whole output, as in the picture of the sun and also the text, it could mean a certain uh, term, and then we can say print term, and that term would mean in brackets all of these instructions. Or is that assumed and everyone is writing it that way? Uh, Sarnita, could you repeat what you're saying? Yeah, I was just telling that uh, all the instructions that we've written, right? Uh, can it be uh, just written in one script as such instead of writing in multiple lines? So that it'll... We just have to put like one, two, one set of bracket and inside we can give all the instruction. I'm on fire. Submitted to your question, I, I assumed like when we run this whole script, it will just do that. Like, uh, I don't know if it needs a name at all. Okay, okay. So I think what Akshay was asking you, uh, are you covering all possibilities apart from what you told on that? specific location i think we have actually covered and also the size of the sun is that uh, of that picture that's also mentioned somewhere is it that's right there's not it's, it's not mentioned and also it's mentioned as image but we have kind of used shape use the shapes to not really paste it in image so maybe we can now uh, make that result clear. So we'll have to uh, write a circle and concept centric lines. Yeah. If it's a friend joining, then they will know what the sun looks like, right? It's not a computer reading. Yeah, but yeah, then... I mean, uh... <laughs> sorry, I, I just wanted to clarify. Uh, so the 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 challenge is uh, simple actually. You don't have to complicate it. If if someone just wants to draw a sun and they say draw a sun, but they tell you the position and you have a way to draw something that resembles a sun and they are able to communicate, I would be happy to call it solving the problem.
but if they want to draw lines from some point to the other or a triangle in a particular way I don't know how we would communicate that Hello. so I think we need some way to describe the position of what we are drawing What do you think about using margins, size? Only the top and left should be enough to talk about the position. Yeah. The, the problem with uh, using margins as def defined in terms of uh, physical measurements is that the computer doesn't have the same measure like it doesn't measure using rulers from a margin like sometimes different screens will have different sizes um, so it will be zoomed or it will be uh, I think uh, maybe pixel pixel you know would be one option pixel distance or but we can awesome. uh, trans translate pixel into margins as well, right? I mean, uh, that's also with respect to some position and margins is also with respect to the like, left, right thing. No, my point was like uh, 10 centimeters. It's uh, specific on to like 10 point. So what I think is that we need coordinate system, you know, what is called a coordinate system to uh, specify the position and for any coordinate system we need to have a reference point also called the origin. So what Swati says is margin is also a kind of a reference point. So it's some agreed point, you know, that that we all know that with respect to this, we are measuring. Yeah, even in real life, we need coordinates to or reference points to navigate. For example, home is the origin or something like that, and then you roam around the place. Around the around the area by considering your home as a reference point or something. Yeah, can we use like either the center of the uh, screen as origin or left corner, left upper corner as the origin? So we, we can use any point. So center is not special, neither the upper left point is special. So yeah. Even center will make sense after the after we have a reference point.
Shall we do one more quickly? This time not uh, drawing first, but writing the instructions first. that you want to put the instructions or you want to draw? Oh, I'll draw. Hey, treat the reference point that uh, Ravi said zero zero as left topmost point, and uh, whatever this coordinate as centime in centimeters. So one centimeter from left and three centimeter from top. Uh, just one thing. I don't. Do you guys have yellow color? I don't see that in my that palette of colors. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I mean anything that's okay. close to yellow, you can. Okay, and also the another part that was not I didn't wasn't clear for me is that you put caps A A right. So what's I mean I don't know how to interpret which size that is. So in the text tools, huh. uh, once we select text, there is this, yeah. uh, do we want a, a, oh, there are many options, sorry, but size basically. Hmm. Can we just call it one, two, three, four, uh, we have one, two, six options. So shall I just make it size as three and it will be oh. the third option. Third option from the lowermost, right? Going in an ascending order. Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay then.
Did I miss anything? Although Judah is back here. <laughs> Well, that is all that I gave. If someone wants to add more to this instruction, go ahead. Or Judah, if you want to reply by giving instructions, go ahead. That was a simple command, unless I got it wrong. Did anyone understand what palm rejection that symbol does? Don't know. Okay, so uh, I am assuming that uh, people are bored of the games. That's why uh, <laughs> they're clearing text and uh, looking at palm rejection. Uh, basically, palm rejection does uh, help when you are on a tablet or something like that, where if when you are trying to draw with your finger. It's uh, detecting the palm also as some input, and it will reject that. I am just gonna take the last ten minutes. So, uh, one thing we can indeed do is to keep on playing this game with uh, more um, fun ways of thinking about it. Like I was actually thinking, you would come up with scenarios like this uh, where uh, you have one letter in uh, one color and another letter in another color and like that um, but yeah I mean it's unlikely that uh, a real person would ever need a color palette like this but I don't know what do people use it for maybe what if someone wanted to write a formula say what is that formula for 4 by 3 3 by 3 and then they want to write by here and they want to write cube to write cube small small cube 
like that. So, so how would someone write something like this or something like this? Those, those are the questions uh, that this game eventually um, leads us to. And um, although for the constraints of this particular screen or the tool, it doesn't really uh, come up as a problem, but uh, what Judah was earlier talking about, uh, computers needing some way to translate centimeters into the screen size uh, in terms of pixels or things like that. And also when it comes to uh, uh, like Swati brought up uh, images, videos, audio, uh, text, lots of different things. How do we represent all of that? That's the question that a lot of uh, okay I'm just going to take pause. that's the question that a lot of people have struggled with in the past and uh, what they have uh, 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 you probably already know some of the solutions they've come up with uh, have you heard of them or can you think of any solution that would be solving this problem already it was not for big blue button but for computers in general is it these formats that they have dot txt or um dot pdf or the, those kind of formats there even inside the document dot yeah. true true so um uh, dot txt uh, actually if you are talking about uh, i don't think there's any format called txt i mean although, although there's a file extension called dot txt that's used by notepad by default or uh, many programs by default all it means is it's just pure text there's no formatting applied at all you just show what the text is as it is but when you come to pdf or rtf rich text format or uh, docx or document uh, word format or o odt open document template format open document text format so all of these are, of course, um, having uh, the kind of uh, specification on showing, okay, this text has to show up here at this size uh, with this color or this image that is saved in this particular location has to come up here. And you can imagine the complexity with PowerPoint or uh, any presentation tool wherein you also have the complexity of animating stuff this has to fly in and stay here for this long and then go off so all of these have to be represented in in pure text because we don't computers don't have any other way to store information and uh, it's not just about uh, storing information you need a way to write here that you can read uh, from across the world so how does a person sitting halfway across the globe, um, who is also a programmer, let's say, interpret that when you say uh, size 3, it means, uh, what is this, 2016, 20, 24, the third one on the, from the right. So those kinds of uh, ambiguities can only be solved by having standards. And uh, such one one such standard is uh, of course the pdf standard is there pdf is actually a proprietary standard by uh, adobe i suppose but then there is this uh, very open standard called html um, you've heard of html right okay Out of HTML. Hmm. 
we are still in this chat okay so if he says yes uh, so if he says yes so um, HTML has a concept of uh, putting things in opening tag and closing tag. Uh, so, as you can see here, anatomy of an HTML element, uh, the opening tag uh, is this is representing a paragraph, P, P for paragraph, and then the content is my cat is very grumpy. Now, what this allows uh, HTML to do is you can have attributes for the whole uh, element. So just like we were doing um, content text and uh, then what did you do? Text placing, or, uh, text format, position, all of that. You can have uh, all those attributes here. Um, and for example, class is an attribute for this P paragraph element and the attribute's value is editor mode. Um, and then you can also have one element inside another element. So here you have a strong, strong essentially meaning bold, uh, bold text. So this is how it is. So, uh, there is some bold text for it. Uh, so this very you want very to be like in a bold text so you put that in a strong uh, element and then uh, the rest of it is in the paragraph so these kinds of uh, things and if you want an image you put image you start with an image tag and then where is the source of the image so um, this is slightly different from saying sun uh, here you actually need the file an actual image file so that Computer can show that file, and then this thing is alt is a little text that will show up for people who do not have that image on their screen, like either they couldn't download it or if they can't see and they want to earn a reader to read it out for them. So, um, and then here is a simple full full HTML page where. There's a the charts here, doc type HTML, and then HTML is saying language. The yeah, language for this whole page is US and say saying, saying this this whatever is in here is just the is just like some metadata head. So it's saying the chart set is character set is UTF eight. So we, we saw as key and unicode and so unicode this is unicode uh, eight digits uh, eight bits of uh, numbers so that's what this means and then viewport is saying uh, let the page be as wide as the device and then it's saying the title of the page is my test page and then it comes to the actual content the body of the page wherein it is just saying show me an image so th th this is what html looks like um, you can have headings of six levels uh, h1 is the biggest heading h2 is the second biggest third biggest fourth biggest like that and then paragraph you can have lists so this would be a um, unordered list so it will just come up as uh, okay they don't have uh, huh. so it will come up like this uh, technologies because this is a list that's coming up so it came from this this code this code so uh, some of these things that are common to show on a website they have created tags for and then using those tags it is possible to represent some of the common things uh, in the in, on a web page but the beauty of this uh, uh, this thing is they combined uh, that with uh, uh, something called CSS so CSS allows uh, even more styling. So you can have color, you can have, uh, so see, see what's happened. So for all paragraphs, they're saying make the color red. So all the, all the paragraphs became red. The heading is still black. The list is still black. 
and the paragraph is all right. So uh, something like that they've added. And uh, here you have the same kind of thing. Like you came up with margin from left, margin from right, uh, margin from top, those kinds of things. So CSS also has similar uh, stuff. It has uh, positioning uh, with, it, it allows multiple kinds of positioning. You can either say in terms of from top, from left, how much, or you can say uh, uh, relative positioning, like put this next to the previous one, put this on the leftmost side. So those kinds of things. So in, in multiple ways you can position. Let me see if margin is there. So margin here, here what it is doing is, uh, it's saying let the maximum width, let the width of the whole thing be just 600 pixels and then the margin should be on the top and bottom no margin but on the left and right automatic margin so what this translates to is it will put it in the center uh, so the entire content would be in the middle uh, with the I don't know if they have a yeah so here you can see the entire content is in the middle with left and right having a margin which was automatically created and this width is 600 pixels so, um, so they went from this uh, simple, simple layout to some colorful layout using CSS. So, uh, essentially, this is one way of uh, uh, how we have solved uh, as as humanity. We have come up with the standard of solving uh, the entire. Okay, right. what is why should I saying? I'm not able to see this clear. I'm not able to speak because my screen is short short. Okay. Uh, I suppose uh, everyone is seeing my screen. Except why should of course. Right? Well, we can see. Okay. So maybe I can catch up with the recording. And anyhow, we are finishing. So that, that's it. So basically, uh, HTML is one way. P PDF is another way. Uh, then there are, uh, then there are, I mean, you, you probably come up with one right now. If you formalize it and give it a name, you can have a name and call it yours. There's something called Markdown, which is, uh, uh, which is rather easier. Uh, it's just about uh, uh, writing, it's an example. Yeah, so you write something like this and put uh, equal to equal to equal to underlining that, then it becomes a big heading. It, it actually gets converted into HTML, so it becomes a big heading. And then uh, with underline, if you put it, it becomes a subheading. Um, and then bold, like when you do WhatsApp message, you've probably done this. Uh, you can write star and type a message and star again, it will become bold. Uh, or italic so those kinds of uh, formatting it's uh, similar to markdown so uh, th these are some of the formats um, and it would be really nice if uh, you can look at html uh, on your own uh, but whether or not you do it uh, you get time to do it uh, we will look at some of html on our own next week so that uh, i can then show you the um, the code that I was showing the other day where I scraped that website and downloaded uh, uh, PDFs and stuff like that. Uh, to read that code, we will need uh, uh, some understanding of how HTML works or what is the syntax of HTML. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I have a very basic question. Uh, so, because you said we can look up HTML by next week, and I would want to do that. Uh, if we are putting down any syntax, where, like, uh, where will the output come? What can we use to actually exp this, like? Like you were showing the uh, Google Sheets kind of thing, uh, but is that where we can try these out? Or 
a web browser. Do you want to try HTML out? Ravi, you were saying something? Yeah. yeah. I said HTML for can be rendered in web browser. Any web browser. Uh, yeah, I'll show you what Ravi means. Uh, so imagine you have, uh, just share my screen. So uh, imagine you have any kind of text editor. Um, so I'm just going to use uh, this my text editor. Okay. So uh, here is a text editor. So if I write HTML code here, and uh, I don't know if this is valid HTML, I think it is. And I save it somewhere. Let's say uh, I'm just going to call it test.html. Uh, now, what I can do is I can open, I can go to that folder and uh, open it. Uh, and just open it with uh, Firefox or Chrome or any browser, and it will come up like that. So, if you want to quickly play with the HTML, uh, you can just do it with the browser. Oh, sorry. With the browser uh, on your uh, um, computer. Within any Windows, Linux, even for, for even Android, it should work, but it's hard to type in Android. That's it. See what Makes title that okay, yeah. thank you. There's no title book. Okay, I refresh this page. See title game. So things like that are uh, more than two three hundred. Okay. <laughs> I missed something if it's not okay. I didn't close this. So uh, it's it's actually fun and easy to play with uh, HTML uh, because you can use the references. Uh, MDN Mozilla Developer Network is uh, typically the best one for learning HTML and CSS. Even JavaScript and all that, but uh, HTML to start with uh, if you are trying to learn. Okay, then I'll end this room now.